My favorite part of entertaining is everything that kind of goes up into that point of it being called entertainment. because I think we all come from different backgrounds and you kind of hear that in, in what we play, like you know, some of my synth lines are you know, very 80s pads and you know, Ryan was some more of like the angular guitar work and Steve is a huge doomy you know, metal guy and I think just all that comes together and somehow we think it works. Tonight on Band in Seattle, bathe in the wall of sound of Dust Moth's heavy gaze. Headphones recommended. Recorded live at Victory Studios. Welcome to Band in Seattle. A veil in between is probably our most kind of rhythmically hypnotic song, you know, with this repetition. For like four and a half minutes of the song, I play one chord over and over and over. I mean, there's no change, no movement, doesn't do anything different. And the weirdest thing is it's my absolute favorite song to play, honestly, one of ever. very drumming heavy song and often they want to play it first which is hard for me but <laughs> I do warm up and then uh, usually can absorb the, the pain and physical trauma. it was accidental. I think it took work for us to get to know each other and find what we were capable of. We each bring stuff to the table, but we all have similar tastes of what kind of we want it to come out as, I think. So that, I think, is the interesting part of it. We didn't have, um, you know, a target or a template in mind, but I think just continuing to evolve together and the amount of time we are spending just getting more comfortable and really being able to show what we wanted to do with each other and, and take that further was, it felt good. <laughs> Natural evolution. Well, initially I like everybody in the band just as human beings is a big deal. Um, I like what everybody brings to the table and it's, it's a sports team but just with people who are creative instead of people who are playing the game. I mean, it's pretty much the reality. I really love and care about these guys, and um, I could see how, I, I, I just think we really gel together, and like the juxtaposition of Absol, it just totally makes sense to me. Um, but I could see how from maybe an outside perspective, it's an odd grouping <laughs> of personalities. <laughs> The 
about some of these songs is that you write them and they have one meaning in that particular moment and then they kind of, they either morph into something else as you just evolve as a person or they lose their meaning. <laughs> Um, but that's okay because it's for the people listening to put their own their own flair on it anyway. We record our practices and that is brutal for me because I'm just singing gibberish most of the time and you know the guys take that and you know are mixing it for us to listen to later and I'm like please just take those out of there. The most recent song we're working on um, we decided to call it I'll Leave It Now because that was something Ryan was hearing and I was like please don't listen to any of that that's just gibberish <laughs> but it gave me a starting point um, so it ends up working out and I can't help but think it is you know some sort of serendipitous thing yeah this is what the song is meant to be about After the break, uncover more about Dust Moth. Back then, this was before YouTube, so you couldn't just like find videos of drummers. I mean, I could, I would watch any drummer on television. I remember watching like Solid Gold. society who are so obsessed with the afterlife and getting there that they can't be here and present or be decent while still here. <laughs> Everything Anew was the first song that we wrote together as a band. It's kind of reminiscent of some of the bands that we sort of listened to 15 years ago, like Shellac and Jesus Lizard. That one was tough. That was the first one that we wrote with Jim, and that was us feeling each other out. And I think what kind of came out was this beautiful cacophony of just so many different styles, and it just meshed perfectly. It looks like there's a beaver chewing in the corner with all the what looks like giant piles of sawdust of little drum pieces, which I try to vacuum regularly, but it gets, uh, it, it does look like someone's chewing on sticks in the corner. I've always admired Jim's playing. He's a very artistic 
drummer. He's like a hard hitter, but there's a lot of nuance there. He's always just a metronome about everything, which is awesome because I'm very loose in the way, like my rhythm is speeds up, slows down. There's a lot of stuff we just, you know, we don't have to talk about. It, it's kind of weird. It's a lot of math stuff, really, more than anything. He and I kind of know where we want to accent things. Back then, this was before YouTube, so you couldn't just like find videos of drummers. I mean, I could, I would watch any drummer on television. I remember watching like Solid Gold, which is a terrible show, but like just to see what the drummers were doing, and I would watch like little drum fills here and there, and I would try to sort of practice those things and try to use those as techniques. But before that, I had the Led Zeppelin song Remains the Same on VHS, and then I, I ended up acquiring a. Iron Maiden live. I would just watch those over and over again just to see what the drummers were doing. the sun annually. It's a big song. It's got a number of parts. It's, um, it's a very different song for, for us. Steve is a wall of thunder. Every time, I love it. As cheesy as it sounds, we kind of finish each other's riffs in a way. Uh, Steve is um, very outgoing. He always has a, a long story about amplifiers, and he, he buys a lot of gear. A lot of you know, he has our practice space has three giant bass amps just in the practice space. ridiculously simple in this band, which is, makes this honestly one of the easiest bands I've probably ever been in. Especially with Irene and Ryan and I, we've been together for a number of years now, and I was in a band with Jim for five or six years, so I have kind of a weird connection between everybody, so it's an interesting vibe. This band flows really quickly as a general rule. I mean, we can go from crappy thought to realized demo within you know, a month or so, usually. You know, so we have a pretty fast-moving process and are easy, no one's no one's feelings are hurt if it's like, I'm not really feeling that, let's do something else. Go, okay. I mean, it's just, it's not like, well, that's the part I wrote. Everybody can drive. There's a lot of you know wonderful things about each one of us that makes sense. None of, no, none of us stink.
how to sleep. Don't we all, don't we all need to know how to sleep better? How to Sleep is one of my favorite new songs. Um, it starts with uh, a very simple harmonic guitar and um, very simple little drum pattern, but, but uh, Irene's vocals just sound beautiful over it. He's got an absolutely beautiful voice, and I don't, I'm really picky when it comes to that kind of stuff. I'm used to working with singers that don't really sing. They're more like yelling or screaming type thing, just because of my background, like coming up from the punk community. Uh, and so working with her, it was the first time I'd ever worked with somebody that had like almost a classically trained voice, and it just blew my mind from the, from the get-go. She also was, when we went down to a four piece, she took over the, most of the keyboard roles at the time. I want to become a better craftsman. Um, and I think Dustmoth has really helped with that. With Dustmoth, I branched out into playing synth, playing keys. Just fitting into the, the whole of the band. I feel like I've grown a lot just through that. <laughs> it's all, it's really a, the four of us together co-creating. I, I don't really see it as anyone being the lead, although I do have to stand out front. <laughs> I don't know. I think the song makes sense before the lyrics. I think I gravitate towards instrumentals first, um, and lyrics have always been second for me, for, for better or worse. It probably comes out in the songs, but <laughs> yeah, I've never been able to sit down and just do a straightforward story. It's all about, you know, what we're all doing instrumentally, how it makes me feel, you know, what concept or emotion does that evoke kind of comes out in vignettes um, more so than, you know, a cohesive storyline throughout. Maybe that'll come one day. <laughs> Ryan is amazing. First and foremost, he's a good friend and it's very easy and comfortable to work with him. And um, he's always surprising. Um, I, you know, some of the riffs that he comes in with after we've like laid down a bass layer, it's like, yes, yes, where did that come from? He basically brings a lot of soundscapes to the band and, and really sort of paints over this sort of dark and sort of uh, infrastructure that we provide. So um, it's, it's a lot of really interesting tones and, and spaces that float over that. Band is 
the worst decision I've ever made, ever. And if I didn't have it in my life, I would go crazy. I wouldn't know what to do with myself because it's, on one hand, it's like you're playing with your brothers and sisters and you know, you start to nod each other for a while. And then, you know, when it all comes together, it's like, I love you, I love you guys, man, this rule. Everything changes all the time, so, um... I just enjoy each, all of our company. I like playing with each other. I like writing music together. I like touring together. Um, nobody's an ass. Everybody can drive. Uh, there's a lot of you know wonderful things about each one of us that makes sense. None of no, none of us stink. You know, it's not like you're stuck in a room with somebody who you can't stand to be in a room with. You know, so it's it's a. Oh, uh, just a wonderfully positive experience to be around people. And the other side is it just makes you feel better. So I mean, if that's all I'd ever really accomplished was that's all I give a damn about. So I guess that's it. To uncover more of the music that moved you tonight, go to bandinseattle.com for more Dust Moth.